injury to one is injury to all. And Members of the nation's top labor unions and their affiliates converge on the Unity Fountain, a popular protest ground in the capital city as early as nine in the morning. They're joined by some members of the civil society organizations. It is the second day of the two-day nationwide protest declared by the union. Security men are on ground to ensure there is no breakdown of law and order. Under heavy security, they chant solidarity songs and carry banners and placards bearing various inscriptions, setting their demands. They then march towards the National Assembly. At the gate, it's free entry for the unions as they peacefully march towards the building of the National Assembly. When they arrive, they're received by federal lawmakers. Labor leaders then again condemn the federal government's attitude towards the industrial action which has been going on for the past five months. The unions vow not to back down until their demands are met. The attention cannot be diverted and basically we remain focused and basically it's a very serious issue. My children, two children, are in the public universities if you are not aware. So I'm personally affected as many, many parents. So this is a very national, it's a very serious national issue. So we shouldn't deviate. Yes, politicians can actually try to deviate our attention. They will try to uh, 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 postulate uh, many, many other issues that are out of the place. Let them resolve the issue. If they resolve the issue, we'll be back. But nobody is happy, including yourself. They are being mobilized to fight for their country, to fight for their education. And I think it's a very good and I praise the leadership of NSC for initiating this. The leadership of this country really takes this country serious. They should act immediately and not allow NSC to declare first a three days morning strike and then a full strike. The committee to negotiate was set up in 2017. Just two years after they took over, and today they are not free negotiation. You sure that that party is not serious. It's not about APC or whether PDP or Labour Party. What have they done? We set up a panel to negotiate on your behalf in 2017. Sir, two years into your first tenure. We are in the last months to where your second tenure. And yet, those, those, that panel has not concluded. We have had um, this unfortunate situation of the introduction of IPPIS which uh, was forced on us as a payment platform. And um, immediately that thing was deployed, um, our members um, became poorer. Our salaries were mutilated. Our members became, um, you know, struggling to, you don't even know what you are paid. I present this, Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the speaker, whom you are representing to you. After presenting their demands to the representatives of the lawmakers, there's a promise to table the issue before the National Assembly leadership. We are with you. The National Assembly has never been uh, outside of this decision to end and then stop this strike. But we have worked, we have discussed this extensively to look at the issue. It's not a welcome development in any country that all our schools are shut down. It's not the best. So we are here with you. I want to tell you that uh, in the parliament there, all of us are speaking with one voice condemning this uh, exercise. This, uh, when I assure you, you will not believe it because you don't say it. But we want to tell you we are with you. The labor unions have pledged to take further action if their demands are still not met.